Welcome to another episode of Country Boy Gas Garage. We're going to take a closer look at this, the Frankenhurst. So let's go. That's right guys, welcome to another episode of Country Boy Gas Garage. I'm Jason, and in this episode, we're gonna take a closer look at this, uh, Graveyard Cars Hearst, Frankenhurst. All right, guys, here we are. Springfield Auto Recyclers. It's their final week being open, and I wanted to take a moment to check out this. It's a Graveyard Cars Frankenhurst. It's a Cadillac hearse that uh, a local TV show called Graveyard Cars built early in their career. You know, use this as a promotional tool. I've seen it in a couple episodes of the Graveyard Cars TV show. Um, I believe it's in the intro as well. And the first time I saw this was probably 10, 12 years ago at a car show. Um, they had it set up at Finn's, a local diner where they do a hot rod car show every year and they had this all set up with uh, a grave site behind it with it pulling the car out of the grave site um, this is such a cool car I hate seeing it sit like this you know, probably 10 or 12 years it's been parked out here and you know, it's just out here for storage you know, market graveyard cars they've uh, grown in business so much that they didn't have room for this anymore and uh so it's been sitting out here for about 10 or 12 years there's an episode uh, where they bring it out here fill our parking lot up with cars to a point where there is no extra space i decided i'd call chuck down at springfield auto recyclers to ask him if i could just park frankenhurst there and he said sure that's i'll try to link that um up in the corner but it's just out here for storage and he plans on getting it and this is the final week springfield auto recyclers is open so well he better hurry <laughs> um you know, word is he might want to sell it. So if anybody out there has to have this in their life, um, give me your contact information and I'll do what I can to get it to him. You know, I could uh, try to get Chuck here to relay the information to Mark, but Mark's been so busy lately that we don't know if we can actually get in contact with him too easily. But if anything, I'll just write a letter on your behalf and put it in the car. So when Mark comes and gets it, uh, he'll have your information if it's something that you need to have, you know. So, you know, serious inquires only. We don't want to waste anybody's time. But I think this uh, should go into the hands of somebody that's going to really care for it because this is a really cool car. Uh, let's open the door and take a look inside. Yeah, it's looking pretty rough these days you had a custom seat made at one time you know, probably clean up pretty easy and what is that? I think it's a 69 Cadillac Hearst and I think they've installed a, a 440 a Chrysler 440 Frankenhurst is one of the most popular attractions anywhere it goes. I put a YAN dual four intake on it with dual 750 Hollies and hand built some zooming headers for it. 
And I tried to pop the hood and I couldn't get it, but I'll try again. But I wanted to take a look inside as well. I tried all the doors. This is the only one I could get open, but uh, something furry has been crawling around in here. Hope he's not still in here. Raccoon or possum or something, but they've got a winch installed down here going right out the back. And that was used to pull said car out of uh, the grave. But a fun functioning winch coming out the back here. Yeah, I tried to open. I, I don't know if it's locked from the inside or where the keys are, but this seems to be the only door that I could get open. You know, it's been sitting here for a while. I don't know. They spray painted the windows to black them out. Looks like they've cut into that door to access something. The thing's pretty cool. So we got a couple uh, her style tail lights not installed. Yeah, so yeah, 440 Chrysler 440 with a wine intake, and dual Hollies, which I'm afraid this motor is probably full of water at this point been sitting out here open to the elements like this I believe at one point he did have a tarp over it but uh, that's done blown off years ago hmm. something used to be bolted to the hood right here I'm not really sure what's going on there but So yeah, guys, I just wanted to take a moment to check this car out. You know, like I was saying, I'll link the episodes I can find in Graveyard Cars where they featured this or had it in the episode. And, and if this is something that somebody really wants, get a hold of me. Give me your contact information and I'll do my best to get it to Mark over at Graveyard Cars. You know, they, they moved on to bigger and better things since they built this you know now they're doing high-end restorations you know with celebrity clients you know recently I've seen an episode with uh, the guitarist of Slipknot um, as well as Bill Goldberg the wrestler um, he was here in town and they're driving around in Bill Goldberg's new car up and down Main Street um, I'll try to link those episodes if not search them out so I'm not sure if Mark's ever gonna really put the money and time back into this car like it needs. You know, if I had the money, I'd make an offer, but I'm sure it's out of my price range. Definitely a really wicked car. All right, guys, I got the hood popped. I'll check it out. Chrysler 440 with a Hawaiian high rise dual intake with a couple of Hollies up there, some glossy stacks, chrome valve covers, and then down to some zoomy headers. Let's see, is there any water in the oil? Oh, so much water in the oil. Oh no, Mark, come save your Hearst. Somebody. All right guys, now I know it was kind of a, a short video, but I couldn't help but take a moment to check this car out uh, while it was still here. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And you like, comment, and share with your friends. And until next time, peace. Go to the merch store and pick you up some hoodies or t-shirts 
we got all kinds of sizes. There's new items being added all the time. So go check out www.countryboygasgarage.com and pick yourself up some merch.